Hello my friends, my name is Nin. Welcome to this yoga for sciatica and lower back pain class. In this class we'll be stretching around the nerve, not the sciatic nerve itself. We're going to be keeping the muscles of the low back and legs flexible, increasing the blood flow and providing healthy tissue for the sciatic nerve to move without restriction. You don't need any props for this class, but if you prefer, please bring a block. And at any point during the exercises, you feel uncomfortable, please come out of the pose. So with that said, let's begin. All right, friends, we're going to begin in child's pose. Stretching right back on your mat and forward with your fingers. Thank yourself for taking this time for some self-care to release your back pain and recover from sciatica. Feel your chest stretch to the ground. And then slowly bringing your hands towards the right hand side. Feeling that stretch down the left of your body. And then return to the middle and go towards the left. Once you felt that beautiful stretch on your right hand side, move back to the middle and notice any areas of tension in your lower back and just breathe into them. And then come out of this pose, we're gonna come forward into our Sphinx pose. So have your elbows on the mat and your arms parallel. Feeling that lovely stretch in the piriformis muscle. up into Cobra if you so wish. And we're just stretching muscles that surround the sciatic nerve. And then coming up now onto all fours, we'll take a few cat cows. So inhaling, arching that spine, feeling that wonderful stretch, tucking the tailbone in, let the head drop. And then exhale, bringing the chin up, the belly down, and the tailbone up. And just take a couple more of those flows. beautiful and then walking forward with our arms we're going to take a pose called puppy pose so here I'd like you to make sure that your seated area is up towards the sky and above your knees and just walking forward with your hands dropping your chest towards the mat Now option here is to bring your chin down to the mat to really feel that deep stretch. This is an amazing stretch for the upper back muscles. So just breathing in here and as ever, remember to modify if any posture brings you pain. So just do what feels right here. Modifying this pose 
depending on what feels good. Once you're done, just take a deep breath into this and then exhale. And we'll walk our palms back up. And we'll transition now into a downward facing dog. Once in your downward dog, let the sternum fall to the ground. Walk it out, get a lovely stretch there in your hamstrings. Maybe wiggle your hips. stretching out through the heels and try and bring your heels down as far as you can towards the mat. You may need to modify here, bringing your feet closer or bending your knees slightly. Beautiful. And then come forward and we'll take a chaturanga. So coming forward into plank, bending the elbows in towards your ribs and we'll come down to the mat and we'll lift up into a cobra. And here we're going to do a little exercise just to strengthen the lumbar spine. So we're going to lower down onto the mat, touching it with our forehead and then lifting up back into cobra. and then repeating that three more times. Wonderful. And then once you're done, returning into a downward facing dog. Noticing how your body now feels Checking in that your alignment is correct and that your biceps are in line with your ears and your sternum now is coming towards your thighs and your heels towards the mat. Beautiful. And now walking forward to the front of our mat, we're going to take a brief forward fold just hugging the elbows. Now it's really important here that if you feel any pulling in your lower back, you stop doing this pose or you bend your knees as much as you need to. And now take a deep inhale, exhale, placing your palms on the mat and bending your knees. We're going to go back onto our back slowly, lowering yourself down using your core for control and now we're gonna come into a bridge pose. So this is a great pose to strengthening the glutes. I'd like you to have your arms parallel to your body, bringing your ankles and heels in slightly closer than maybe you would and bend your knees. And then pressing down through the palms, vertebra by vertebra, I'd like you to peel your back off the mat. Beginning firstly with your pelvis and then slowly peeling your spine off the mat. And then just pressing down through the heels, feeling the glutes strengthen. And then exhale, slowly lowering down vertebra by vertebra. So don't come down all at once. Take your time and use the control. And then repeating that into bridge pose again. Pressing down through the heels, up through the pelvis, reaching away with the tailbone. And don't let your hips drop to either side, peeling your spine off vertebra by vertebra. And now interlace the hands underneath you.
And once you're done, releasing that pose and lowering down with control. And come down to the mat, bending your knees. And we'll bring our knees into our chest here. Just feeling that benefit to our lower back, lifting your head slightly off the mat, hugging your knees in, just rolling and giving yourself a nice massage here. Wonderful. And now placing both feet on the mat, we're gonna come into a reclined pigeon pose. So this will really help the lower back and the hip flexors and the glutes. So coming over with your right foot over towards your left knee, flexing that right foot and grabbing hold behind your left leg and bringing it towards your chest. This is highly beneficial for after any exercise, but also particularly for the surrounding areas of the sciatic nerve. Beautiful, releasing that pose and now come to the other side. With your left foot over to your right knee, grabbing hold of your right leg and pulling it in towards your chest, keeping the legs, the feet flexed. Working into that lower back, the glutes and the hip flexors. So done, just pressing out into your left knee, opening up as much as you can, and then release this pose and bring both the feet to the floor and then straightening out the legs. Now I won't stay here too long. I'd like you here to bend one knee in towards your chest. Now if this feels uncomfortable, bend the other knee slightly. Try here and give yourself a lovely stretch through the psoas muscle. Bringing your right knee in to your chest. And then releasing that and bringing your left knee into your chest. And then bringing both the legs down onto the mat again, we're gonna take a hamstring stretch here. So grabbing hold of your right leg, just bending your right knee into your chest again, and then slowly begin to straighten up your right leg as much as you can into a reclined split. Now this is really helpful for stretching the back of the legs and the hamstrings. So just take it as far as you can, you may need to bend your knee. Or for some of you, you might be able to take it a bit further and grab hold of your heel. Do whatever feels comfortable, but don't find yourself rolling off to the side here. What is key here is finding that point, that edge for you, where you're stretching and it feels good. We're all on a different journey and we need to be mindful of what our bodies are capable of today. 
releasing that pose, bringing the right foot down to the mat and then straightening up the legs and then bringing the left leg into your chest and then slowly begin to straighten the left leg. powerful stretch and once again if this is too much in the hamstrings remember to modify by bending the knees beautiful now letting go of that pose bending the knee and returning back so that our knees are bent and feet on the mat and then we're just going to take a very slow and mindful tipping our legs over towards the left, keeping our arms parallel with the mat. So don't flop over here, just with control, bringing your legs over to one side and then back to center and then over to the other side. So this is really gonna help with low back mobility, strengthening the core. So the key is here to do it slowly. Once you're done, come back to center and placing either bending your knees or having your legs straight, bringing your palms up over your head and using your core muscles to lift yourself up. If you need to grab hold of the back of your thighs, then please do so as we take a roll up. And then palms at the front and then transition back into plank. Take a chaturanga. Back into downward facing dog here. And then lifting up with the right leg up to the sky. And then placing your right knee next to your right wrist and your left foot next to your left. wrist. Now option one, lifting the chest, looking up. Or if you want to grab a block or come down a bit further, then please feel free to do so. This really gets into the hip flexors. It's a really beneficial stretch for the glutes and it helps with lower back mobility. So just notice any tension here and breathe in. Imagining the breath as though it's a healing force. this feels too much always remember coming out of the pose so either come up onto your forearms and the ideal version of this pose is to have your shin parallel with the front of your mat but everyone is different and everyone's on a different journey so it's completely fine if your leg is somewhat diagonal to the mat over time you may be able to open up your hips a bit more but it really doesn't matter because what we're aiming to do today is stretch those glutes and the areas around the lower back supporting the sciatic nerve. Keeping them flexible and providing oxygen and blood flow. Beautiful. Okay, now begin to come out of this pose and take back into a downward facing dog 
and slowly come forward as we take a chaturanga up into our cobra or a full upward dog if that feels available to you today just staying here for a few breaths reversing the effects on your back and exhale working our way back into downward facing dog and now lifting up the left leg bringing the left knee to the left wrist the right foot towards the right wrist and we'll take pigeon on the other side so here again you can either come down onto your forearms bringing your forehead to the mat or you might like to stay up bringing in a prop and this side may feel completely different to the other side and that's completely normal just try to keep your hips square with the front of the mat and notice just noticing not judging if your shin is in a different position to it was the other side The idea is to bring oxygen to an area that is a support the sciatic nerve and this will help the tissue for the sciatic nerve move around with less restriction. So just breathe in, picturing the healing energy. Beautiful. One last breath here. And then we'll release this pose. Coming back into our downward facing dog. Wiggling our hips here, pedaling it out. And then slowly coming forward into Chaturanga, into our plank, and then lowering our chest down to the mat lowering our glutes and then pushing up opening up the chest feeling that wonderful stretch on the lower back lifting up the chin engaging the glutes then exhale coming down to the mat and we'll take our final child's pose back where we began Noticing how your body now feels. Recognizing that healing is a process of acceptance and patience. For the body to rebuild itself. And thanking yourself for the care you've taken with your body today. To release back pain. and keep your body and mind healthy. Breathing in to the lower back, stretching your hands out as far as you can. Taking a deep breath and sinking down further into the mat. time to come out this pose now so slowly coming up into a seated position
lifting your palms up above you. Palms together, bringing your thumb to your third eye. And we bow and say Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you found some healing energy there and that your back feels better. If you like what you saw, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel where you can find an array of other classes. I wish you love and light. Namaste.